Hello, my name is Pastor Dean Osuch. I'm one of the pastors here at this great church, and I get to oversee the life group ministry of, of this church. And, and I want to thank you, life group leader, for making this ministry a vital part of your life. It's because of you over 90% of our people are connected to the church. This is the first installment of this three-minute leadership tips. And, and the reason why we came about with this idea of training our life group leaders is because at the life group rallies, there was some very good training that took place. But if you were to miss a life group rally, you had to wait an additional three months to get this training. So we believe that this is a more effective way to provide for you ongoing encouragement and training as you lead your life groups. And we'd like to provide these trainings at least once or twice every month. As you think about your life group, there are three major components of a life group. One is, is the teaching component, and that's as of, that is of utmost importance as we teach God's word. And I visited many of the life groups, and I am so impressed with our life group leaders who, who teach God's wo uh, word, and they teach it well. The second component of a life group is the care ministry. And we want to care for each other and minister to each other and, and be there during difficult seasons of life. And I'm reminded of when I grew up in Connecticut and went to this little Lutheran church. My mom got into a very serious horsing accident. And we stopped going to church for about three or four months. And during that period of time, we didn't receive one phone call from the church. Looking back over that event... We weren't connected to the church. We would come occasionally. We weren't involved in a Sunday school class. Therefore, the church never knew us. People who attend your life group are known by you. And so we want to be proactive and get to know the people that we're ministering to and, and care for them before they even get into the hospital. So we want to provide that care ministry, ministry aspect to our life group members. And then the third component is the outreach component. We want to be missional. We want to reach out into our community. And as a life group leader, your class is looking to you to provide these opportunities. And as a pastor, I can help encourage you to get plugged into our community if that's an area of need. So during our time together, we'll be focusing on those three areas, the teaching component, the caring component, and the outreach component. I look forward to sharing more of these three-minute tips with you. Uh, right now, I am sitting in the prayer room of this great church, and this is where it all begins. It all begins in prayer. And it's my prayer that God would continue to use you to help our members become more and more like Jesus. God bless you, and God bless your ministry.